Peggy 18. It's one of the most anticipated titles in gaming history. Now, in this four-part series, get an inside look on the making of this truly revolutionary game. Inside the process of the creative team, the designers, writers, artists, and animators who brought it to life. So that's what we need. going to be better than the cloud of smoke. Inside the technical breakthroughs that made it all possible. And inside the American Revolution, with interviews from war historians. It was a slaughter on the ground. Soldiers. It's guerrilla warfare. And weapons experts. They would use their weapon in whatever way they could. Who show us just how brutal the war really was. This is Inside Assassin's Creed 3. I don't think people realize how big an undertaking it is, how you know many people it takes to, to sort of achieve the level of quality and scope that we have. Assassin's Creed 3 is a big scale game. The amount of things that are produced per day, that are developed per day, it's amazing. The team has grown to be several hundred people in five studios around the world, all of them working on really specific elements, so the amount of work is just staggering. In total, it's over 30 hours of gameplay, and we have two hours and a half of cinematics, which is as much as any major light movie, or even more. We have an amazing team on AC3. Everyone's super passionate about the project. When we started AC3, we knew it had to be big and ambitious and different. It's very rare in your career that you get an opportunity to try and go for the gold medal, and we really felt like this was our shot at it. A lot of tired people on the floor right now, but a lot of happy, tired people. We've always tried to pick exciting periods in history and then drop the player in, so they're exploring that time, as well as our fictional story. Make ready, present. The American Revolution was a very pivotal time because the concept of self-government as opposed to being governed by royals, it was very radical for the era. It's a great setting for a game because there's high stakes. It was the founding of a nation. It was a time when an individual could make a difference. It was all or nothing. They had to win or die. The Revolutionary War was an incredibly brutal experience. This is something you just don't really hear about in the history books and something we wanted to bring to life in the game. Connor is our new hero in Assassin's Creed 3. He's half British, half Mohawk. He's humble and more grounded to nature uh, type of person. We did a lot of research into Native American culture. We've recorded dialogue in their native language. Excellent. I loved it. And we've tried very hard to reflect their culture as accurately as possible. His name, Radun Hagedum. It refers to a life that is scratched, meaning that he had to struggle to survive. Connor, as a hero, is someone who sees himself as a defender of the people. He's more inclined to justice than revenge. One thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so. Connor's goal is to assassinate key historical figures at major battles, at major events during the revolution. He's a stealth operator. He can come out and viciously make a, a great kill. Then blend right back in. If George Washington would have had Connor on his team, he wouldn't have needed many other people. Anvil Next is an engine that gives us the possibility to do things that were not possible to do before. The weather system, the seasons, the formable snow, bigger worlds in general, the ocean. It's the sum of three years of improvements that we've built upon. 
brand new navigation system, brand new combat system, two and a half thousand characters on screen at any one time, being able to cut through interiors in the city. Anvil Next is a massive leap forward in terms of gameplay opportunities. Cliffs, trees, climbable stuff, the water, that was pretty exciting but also very challenging. We've got the frontier as well. We've got two of our major cities, Boston and New York. Once we dug up maps from the period, we tried to match street for street or major avenue for major avenue. We recreated Boston and New York at about one to three scale. We set out with crazy ambitions for this game. And with Anvil Next, it brings the experience to a whole new level. The fascinating thing for us is that we can bring history to life. We can actually make it a place that's explorable and vibrant and real. We hope we're offering by far the biggest and best assassins yet. Next time on Inside Assassin's Creed 3, combat, weapons, and tactics. American tactics were really frowned upon by the British. He was trained in a very different style of fighting to the, the British soldiers. Connor is essentially the first guerrilla fighter.